Welcome back to my channel everyone, Cobra here, and today I have a video on how to get green crystals in Soul Mask. Now, I've seen a few different ways of doing this, and so I'm going to talk about three of them in this video today. So just a quick letting you know what's going on. We're going to be doing Ancient Ruins. We're going to be doing the Ancient Ruins Dungeons, and we're going to be seeing how much we get farming the Sabertooth boss. So we're going to get into it right now. So our first one is Ancient Ruins. So you can see I've got an Ancient Ruins right here. I just killed the bush dogs because the second I started trying to record, they decided they wanted to come eat me. So I cleared them out. So you can see there should be, here we go, an Ancient Relic chest here. So we'll open this up. You can see I got three green crystals for that. So killing three bush dogs got me three green crystals. And that's all there is here. But there are a lot of these scattered throughout the map. Um, some of these are, I haven't gone over there. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, one here. You can see they are basically all over the place. So if you're early game, this is what I'm going to recommend for doing. You're going to want to find these, especially the ones that are beasts, um, because... A you can find them as tapirs, which are not very hard to kill. Bush dogs, you know, you can find them as all kinds of stuff. You can even find them as humans, but they'll typically give you three. Sometimes if it's a bigger one, you can get two chests and get up to six, but they're all over and you can get them at low levels. So that's going to be my first recommendation. Second recommendation is going to be once you get in a little bit further. Uh, so we're going to actually jump over. To that right now and that's going to be the ancient ruins dungeons so the earliest one you're gonna get is going to be this one right here you can see it says copper ore you're gonna to want to get past the beginning part which is going to be humans wearing bronze armor so you are gonna to want to be you know at least level 20 for this and you're going to want to have a hammer I will show you why once we get there okay so our second method of getting Lots of these green crystals is going to be going to an Ancient Ruins dungeon. Since this is the lowest level one, I'm going to be using this one. So I'm not going to make you watch it all. I'm going to either speed up or skip it for you guys. But we're going to go into this Ancient Ruins dungeon and we're going to see how many green crystals we can get in here. Okay guys, so I just ran through this dungeon. I cleared a lot of it, not quite all of it, but I did kill the boss. And I ended up with 33 green crystals. Now this took me about 25 minutes. So that's not much more than one green crystal a minute. So while it does get you green crystals and, well, lots of other good stuff that you'll probably want, it is not going to get you a ridiculous amount of these green crystals. But it's still one of the only ways to get it, so it makes our list. So then we'll go ahead and we'll head over to our third way of getting green crystals. So the last way that I would recommend to get green crystals is actually going to be defeating the Sabertooth Predator boss. Now the reason for this is because obviously it is the easiest of the three bosses, doesn't take a whole lot to summon, can be dealt with pretty quick as long as you have, you know, relatively decent stuff. So we're going to get right into it and I'll show you how much you can get out of it. I've got enough to summon it twice. I think I'm just going to do it one time for so that I don't have to steal your attention for too long. So that's our saber tooth boss right there. Okay guys. So we just killed the saber tooth. Now, I'm doing this solo. Uh the more people you have, the more rewards you get just because well, it has to be whoever starts within this arena. You'll get more if you have more people, but doing this just solo. We're going to go ahead and chop this up. You can see I got 10 green crystals and 4 blue crystals. But you can see that each blue crystal can be uncrafted to get 5 green crystals. So that's an extra 20. So even doing this solo, you get 30 green crystals out of it just from that. And then you get access to this place over here once you beat it, which has a few chests. So if you're prepared, I recommend 
you know, if you're going to be actually farming it consistently, I recommend bronze. Um, just because it will speed it up and you'll be able to actually tank a hit. I came in partial beast hide armor and half of it was broken. So that's why I sped up that video for you a little bit. You can see also we got seven more here. And we got another chest over here. Oh, I guess I have to get off this mount to open the chest. Another seven. So far that is, I believe, 44 that I have gotten if I uncraft those blue crystals. And then this right here. <coughs> Which can also uncraft to another 2 to 5. So essentially you can get about 46 to 49 green crystals if you're doing this solo. If you have someone with you, you can get even more. So even if the fight takes, we'll say, around uh, 10 minutes, you can get 40-something out of it. So I'd say that this is probably actually the best farm. And if you have people with you, then it will even drop more loot when you kill it. So those are the three ways that you can get green crystals easy. Uh, if you're really early game, like I said, you can get these ancient ruins. You know, they'll give you a few at each, three to six. Um, so it's a sum, but when you're that early and you can't do the other options, that's probably your best bet. Maybe your only bet. Once you get a little bit up, you have the option of either doing the mechanical dungeon, which I showed you a little bit of, or coming through the ancient pyramid and doing the Sabertooth boss fight. So my personal favorite currently is the Sabertooth boss fight that gave the most for the amount of time. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know below. And if you guys want an actual tutorial or explanation on the entire Sabertooth boss fight, starting from what you need to summon it, um, best strategies, weapons to use, etc., let me know below in the comments. Um, if I get a bunch of people saying they want it, I will do it. So far, I just haven't because I know other people have content on that. Uh, and it, just please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll keep putting out more content for you guys.